Okay, guys, so... <clears throat> I'm not really sure... What I'm gonna do in terms of story and battle. Because I really love leveling up, and... I don't want to just do a speed play, so I think I, what I'm gonna do is just... Show you guys any areas where I know you can find great stuff. But I'm not going to show you me sitting there for 20 minutes leveling up by going back and forth and encountering, okay? So, speaking of encounters, we're going to go do our very first battle with these characters. Okay. So, in a sense, it's... To me, it's like a combination of Final Fantasy 10 and 13. In the sense that 13, you can see where the characters are. But then it's a turn-based battle. Okay. So, up there you see the order in which they go, just like in Final Fantasy X, as well as our health points and skill points. So what you have is attack, reactions, which are those things which depend on your parameters or stats, techniques, items, and you can always escape. So, what we're gonna do is... Use a technique. Just to show you guys. So we have removed status augments from the target, so anything happening. Just anything in general, actually. So we can't use the passives. So he dodged it. So, a little tip for you guys. You really wanna have anyone who's a high speed and accuracy, go after those who have a high speed and accuracy. And then anyone who has a counter, which we'll see later on, half the people with either guard or dodge if you want, go after them. What we're gonna use is a technique, which sometimes works on these guys. <laughs> Raise Ruby. I will, of course, record boss fights, but... <laughs> this one might be more story... Well, it is very story-driven than actual... You guys probably don't want to watch me just sit here the whole time and do these long... Sometimes pretty long battles, so... Boss fights... And record anywhere where I know there's stuff. Do one more battle, see if I get it. for areas with certain characters that we of course need to fight but aren't necessarily bosses but are important to the storyline. I'll show but bandits, you know. Bandits are bandits. So that was our first couple of battles so now we're gonna go back to the storyline. I suppose you could say. So this town's kind of empty, I guess you could say. Except for these lovely folk. We're gonna search their barrels for stuff. Because barrels can be helpful sometimes. Contrary to what some people say. My husband and I are hoping to sell off the rest of our goods before we seek shelter. Do you manage the trading ship that goes to the United Provinces? Yes, unfortunately you've come at a bad time. Maybe in a few weeks we'll be able to resume shipping again. Damn. There's a large port east of Monter Montagne called Ferrith. Ferrith. Perhaps you'll have better luck there. Okay, we're gonna go over to this guy. Of course we have zero credits.
Let's see if we can go up here. It leads to the mayor's bedroom and plush and go there. Yeah, you might send some mixed signals there. You're not from around here, are you? You could say that. Well, you've picked a very bad time to come to our village. I advise you to make your stay here as brief as possible. As for directions, the North Shore of Civilden Ci Ci is a couple hundred miles south of here. If you want to get back to the UP, you should make for the Svaldic capital, Sweven Svivenholm. <laughs> Dude, these names. How do you suggest I get there? Can I take a boat from here? Normally could, however, because of present present circumstances, you won't be able to find passage for a few more days. Oh shit, guys. Uh, let's ask about what's going on. The residents of Barrett have boarded up and fled north in preparation for the imminent raid by the Blackguards. The what? The Blackguards are a collective of mercenaries that roams across Beneva, plundering every village that doesn't pay for protection. We're a small settlement without the means to afford to pay them. Every month or two, they come and steal anything that isn't chained down. Uh, and you just let them do that? Why don't you fight back? We're a village of farmers, and the Blackguards are a group of trained killers. They'd butcher anyone who stands up to them. What are we supposed to do? What about the government? There's got to be something they can do. They'd never responded to our pleas. They probably, they're probably afraid of the Blackguards themselves. But it's stupid to just keep surrendering it and letting them take what they want. There's nothing we can do. Even if every woman, <laughs> man, woman, and child and brat fought to the death, we would still be outnumbered. Bitch. Come on, you gotta stand up for yourself there. Just be like, oh. And you're no better. You're so damned hopeless. How can you expect to get ever, to ever get out of this? No, you know what? I'm sick of talking to you. Just ask for directions after that. That'd be really awkward. <laughs> Hey, I know I kind of criticized everything you did, but hey, how's it going? Let me ask you some things. The door's boarded up. Honestly, there's not not a lot we can really do here. Just sign in a door that says, reads away. The door's boarded up. You know, I don't think having a little sign that says away is really going to keep dudes from coming in. Just another little tip besides we haul ass, guys. Who are you? Why are you in my home? Sorry, I guess I couldn't resist. <laughs> so you're not from the church. I'm Aria. I'm from the UP. If you're a traveler, then you'd be wise to leave the town. Soon the blackguards will come. If they find you, they will certainly sell you as a slave. I'll use my wind swords against them. Sorry, guys. Well, okay, then I guess I'll get going. Oh, I didn't catch your name. My name is Elizabeth Blackwood. Blackguard, Blackwood. Huh. If you're traveling north and pass by the temple, could you please send for my husband? Sure, what's his name? His name is... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just kind of had an epiphany of sorts. If you see him, please ask him to come home and help me store away our valuables. Okay. I'm going to start being called a kleptomaniac. I swear. I'm going to stop going into these houses. Okay, guys. So, I'm probably going to do a bunch of leveling up, but I promise that when I get to the uh, temple, that I will show you guys what's going on in there. And probably a couple of battles, but mostly were treasure chest arms and such. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want. Bye!